tardes, la Universidad Castro Carazo les da la más cordial bienvenida a este espacio virtual que hemos preparado para todos y todas ustedes. Mi nombre es Ivania Vega, coordinadora de Vida Estudiantil y tendré el gusto de acompañarles esta tarde. Les informamos que este evento está siendo grabado, por lo que les solicitamos mantener sus micrófonos y cámaras apagadas para no saturar la transmisión. De igual forma, para una mejor experiencia, en la parte superior derecha de la pantalla pueden activar la vista de galería y esto les permitirá ver a todas las personas participadoras. Muy bien, contarles que durante esta semana hemos realizado distintos espacios para la expresión y la comunicación a través de eventos relacionados con arte, con salud y con bienestar. Así que el día de hoy traemos una actividad más para compartir, llamada Reader Theater. Muy bien, para iniciar quisiera contarles cuál va a ser la dinámica de este espacio. En primer lugar, vamos a iniciar con las personas expositoras quienes nos van a dar unos tips y algunas herramientas para la actividad del día de hoy. Durante este espacio, ustedes podrán hacer sus consultas y preguntas a través del chat que hemos habilitado para ello. Entonces, por ahí las pueden ir anotando y nuestro equipo se encargará de irlas recopilando y compartiendo. Muy bien, ahora sí, para iniciar, quisiera presentarles a las personas que nos acompañan el día de hoy. Tenemos hoy por acá a Liana Rojas, quien es la directora del Centro de Idiomas. Liana, bienvenida. Buenas tardes. Excelente. Bueno, muchas gracias. Gracias, Liana. Bienvenida. Tal vez, Liana, si nos cuentas un poquito y de pronto te puedes presentar también por si hay alguna persona que no te conoce, también te va a conocer por acá. Buenas tardes. Muchas gracias. Mi nombre es Liana Rojas. Soy la directora del Centro de Idiomas y estoy feliz de poder estarles facilitando junto con algunos de nuestros docentes del Departamento de Inglés este taller. Genial, muchas gracias, Liana. También nos acompaña Ronnie Molina. Ronnie, bienvenido. Un gusto, con placer eh, compartir este espacio con vos. Muchísimas gracias a ustedes por la invitación. Muy buenas noches este, a mis estudiantes del curso que están acá. Bienvenidos y gracias por ser parte de este espacio también. A los estudiantes de otros grupos y personas invitadas que no conozco, un gusto conocerles y que formen parte de esta experiencia tan bonita. Y agradecer también a la Universidad Castro Carazo por facilitar esos espacios de, de aprendizaje tan, pero tan importantes. Muchas gracias. Muchas gracias y bienvenido nuevamente. Y también tenemos a Carlos Mestayer, también docente de la universidad. Carlos, bienvenido. No le estamos escuchando. El micrófono está apagado, si no me equivoco. Muchas gracias. Estaba practicando para poder hablar con todos ustedes y poder impostar bien la voz. Eh, creo que será una de las pocas veces que mis estudiantes me escucharán hablando español. Es un gusto estar con todos, con todos y, y con todas esta noche. Eh, esta actividad me tiene muy emocionado, en realidad, porque es una actividad tremendamente eh, valiosa y muy divertida. Entonces creo que vamos a pasar un muy buen rato todos juntos. Gracias por acompañarnos. Excelente, bienvenido y muy bien. Eh, bueno, esperamos que este espacio sea de mucho provecho. También es un espacio para practicar, así que siéntase en, en la comodidad de hacer sus preguntas y consultas, ¿verdad? Y para eso aquí tenemos todo detrás este equipo eh, que va a estar apoyándoles durante el espacio. Y bien, sin más, le cedo la palabra a Carlos, a Ronnie y a Liana para que podamos iniciar. Mm, thank you very much and good evening. Now it's English from now on. Um, Today we are going to give you some tips and strategies to enjoy and to learn how to enjoy Reader's Theater. Reader's Theater is a technique in which you combine reading and theater. And Carlos Mestaller is going to tell us more about that. So, uh, Carlos and Eva, if you can share the screen so that can, can Carlos can describe what reader series okay readers all right i think we need to go back we need to go back to the second slide and uh, 
Yeah, it's a, right before that one. So what is Reader's Theater? Uh, what is Reader's Theater, my friends? Well, the word explains it all. It's, it's acting. It's basically acting. Uh, I was telling my students last week that in the past, there was only radio. There was no television. So a lot of soap operas were uh, broadcast. You know, the broadcast was on the radio and, and the actors were reading from script. That's what we're going to do today. OK, what is the purpose for Reader's Theater in, in our case? Well, it's going to be an engaging, interactive way to improve your English by means of reading, by re by means of listening and pronouncing, you know, paying attention to your pronunciation, right? You pronounce uh, some words that may be difficult for you and that, that would be good practice for you. And, you know, sometimes we don't really pay much attention to intonation, but intonation is a big, big part of language. So this is a great opportunity for us to practice intonation, okay? What are you going to do? Well, you are going to be engaged with this activity, okay? And even though you will be reading, okay, you will be practicing your English. This is not about memorizing. This is about reading a script. But it's about reading the script the right way, using the best possible English you have. So it's going to be a lot of fun, okay? There are some tips that um, my friend Roni would like to share with you all, okay? So Roni, I'm yielding the, the floor to you, okay? Thank you very much, uh, Carlos. So yes, as he said, guys, I am going to give you some tips for success in this reader's theater experience that we are going to have tonight, okay? First, number one, it says read Read slowly and clearly, people. Relax, take your time, okay? In order to read clearly, to articulate. When we go to the theater to watch and to listen to a play, the actors and the actresses, they don't go like, blah, 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 blah. no, they, they do it clearly and slowly. So it says, hello, how are you? Da, da, da. So take your time to read clearly and slowly. You don't have to run, no. Take your time, take it easy, okay? Read with expression and use proper emphasis. This is very important. For example, if you have a script like this and you're reading, um, it says, uh, oh my God, long time no see, long, long time no see, how are you? Right, you're not going to go, oh my God, long time no see, how are you? Like a robot, right? No, let's do it with the correct expressions, you know, with the proper emphasis and intonation. Hey, hello, how are you? Oh my God, too bad. Oh, I'm so sorry. So that we can give the, the, the right emotions to your character, okay? Also, imagine, guys, that your character is alive. You are giving your voice to your character, okay? So in the moment that we are reading this script, I am not Ronnie Molina. I am the grandmother. I am the superhero. I am Uncle Bunny, whoever, okay? So imagine that your character, you are the character, okay? Don't worry about mistakes, okay? If you make a mistake, don't worry. Continue. You fix it and continue, okay? Don't feel bad like, oh my God, I made a mistake. Jesus, that's terrible. No take it easy, go on, you know, continue. Everybody makes mistakes, people. And the purpose of this activity is to practice, to have a good time, to have fun, to enjoy. So that's actually the last tip that we have for you. Don't be nervous. It's okay. Don't worry. Here we have uh, participants with different levels of English. So don't worry, there is no problem. The important part of this is learning, enjoying, being happy, and having a good time. So these are the tips, guys, for success that we have for you um, tonight in this activity. And da -da -da -da, here comes the surprise. Let's see. Okay. So actually, as I said tonight, this word is part of the title 
of the script that we are going to have uh, in this beautiful activity of Reader's Theater. The name of the play or uh, the story that you are going to read is called No Bath Tonight. So now um, Liana will give you more instructions on how we are going to do this activity. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, Ronnie. As you said, No Bath Tonight is the script that we are going to read. Before we read and before we practice in groups, we are going to take a look at the script and see if there are any words that are difficult or that require a special pronunciation. So uh, if Ivania, please, can you pass the script to the chat? And this I'm going to say in Spanish. El script que vamos a leer es el que Ivania les está pasando en el chat, ¿de acuerdo? Entonces, lo primero que vamos a hacer es que Carlos Mestaller nos va a ayudar a ver ciertas palabras en ese script que pudieran ser difíciles, ¿ok? Entonces, Ivania, si nos puedes compartir el script en la pantalla, en Carlitos, the floor is yours. Thank you very much, Liana. Thank you very much. Now, uh, I presume everybody is able to watch the script right now. Let's wait because I still see Liana's face. Well, I guess if you have your script by now, you can open your script on your computer or your device. Okay, there it is. Thank you very much. Okay. Now, uh, there are four parts for, for, uh, uh, for this play, right? We have a narrator one and then a narrator two. Well, if we have a group of three, then the narrator one and narrator two can be the same person, no problem, okay? And then we have Jeremy and then we have grandma. Those are the characters in the play, okay? Now, if you pay attention to the very first part of the script, when it says on Monday, Jeremy made a fortress. That's, a, that's an interesting word that you don't really see very often in everyday English, a fortress, okay? A fortress is a big building, a very strong building that can withstand a war. You know, if, if you are in a war, being in a fortress is a good place to be because you're going to be protected, okay? So this fortress is made, is made uh, was made in the sand, okay? Uh, by Jeremy, by the way, right? It had three towers and a moat. Huh, what the what in the world is a moat? Any any ideas from anybody what a moat can be? It's usually something around the castle or the fortress. Anybody? It's usually filled with water and sometimes crocodiles or alligators or all kinds of foul animals. That's a moat, okay? Usually around castles or fortresses, right? Uh, it had a pointed stick and a seaweed. Aha, that's another interesting word, seaweed. A seaweed flag, what is seaweed? Well, it's a, it's a, a underwater plant. That's what seaweed is, okay? That's basically it, right? If you find a plant under the water, then it's very likely it's seaweed, okay? Uh, it had a dragon. Everybody knows what a dragon is, right? Trying to get in, you know, the dragon is trying to get in the, in the fortress. And knights, knights trying to get out. Knights are the guys who usually wear an armor and they fight against whatever enemy the king or their lady has, okay? Those are the knights. They usually come in very bright, beautiful armors to protect themselves, okay? And then you have a number of other words in the, in the script. It is not a very long script. Um, I would like for you to just skim through uh, the the script and tell me if you have any particular questions about any particular word. Does anybody have any questions about 
words in particular here? You can type you can type your words on the on the chat and I will be able to see it too. Okay. One word that comes to mind, it's actually two pricker bush. What is a pricker bush? Does anybody know what a pricker bush is? A pricker bush is a very, very um spiky kind of plant in the forest okay that's a pricker bush all right does anybody have questions about the script any particular words that you might be curious about before we start we have about one minute left guys so this is your time to ask and of course, something I would like to add something to what Roni and Liana said. Guys, if we make mistakes, mistakes are welcome. Okay? Mistakes are welcome. Don't worry about making mistakes because that's the way we learn. Okay? So please, please, as we practice and as we have fun, if it's not perfect, no problem. It's about practicing, it's about learning. Okay? And mistakes, mistakes are okay. Nothing's going to happen. Okay. Well, I don't think we have any any uh, any questions about particular words. Okay. So I am going to yield the floor again to Liana. She's going to give us instructions about how we are going to work together and how we are going to be divided into the breakout rooms. Okay. Liana, floor is yours, my friend. Thank you. I think Rudy had a question. Rudy? Oh, sorry. Thank you I did wrote not... in the chat. Is it me or I think you wrote something in the chat? Yeah, I don't know why I'm not being able to see all of the questions in the chat, yeah. but I'm going to try again, okay? I think Rudy Take wanted to say something. Yeah. All yeah. mics are muted for the host. Script. Yeah, okay. Let's talk a little bit about the instructions. And if you have questions, feel free to ask the questions before we go to the rooms, okay? So what we are going to do is we are going to read a script that has four characters. Grandmother, Jeremy, who is the child, narrator one, and narrator two. As Ronnie said, if we are in a group of four, so it's one character per person. If we are in a group of three, two people, I mean, one person can read the two narrators, okay? So we have a script and we are going to read the script and that's the magic of Reader's Theater. We don't have to memorize what the actors say. We have to read what the actors say. Okay, so in groups of four, not of three, group of four, you will read the script out loud and you will decide who is the narrator, who's grandma, who's um, narrator two, and who's Jeremy. Write down any difficult words. Why? Because Ronnie, Carlos, or myself are going to be visiting all the small groups. Hmm? And when we visit the small groups, you can tell us, how do you say this? How do you pronounce this, okay? The goal is that you are able to read and understand the whole script and to be able to read it with intention, as Ronnie explained, with enthusiasm. Mm -hmm. And then after we first read, we will have rehearsals. And in the same groups, we will practice in the groups of four was my mistake. I said three, but it's groups of four. We will practice reading the script, watching for pronunciation. Okay? So do you have any questions before we go to the groups of four? Once you are in the groups of four, you are going to stay there like for 15 minutes and practice with the script. Mm -hmm. And then we will come back 
and we'll talk about the experience, okay? So does anybody have any questions? Raise your hand. Any questions, any doubts, people? Uh -huh. No? no? Ready? ready? Okay, remember that, okay, so do we practice the whole script? Yes, Daniel, very good question. Suppose that first, Daniel, you read the script and you say, okay, I am going to be the child. I'm going to be Jeremy. So Daniel, you practice Jeremy's lines because you are Jeremy. Another person in your group is going to be grandma. So Daniel is Jeremy, another person is grandma, and there are two narrators, okay? So you read the part that is assigned to your character. And you guys read it. Each person reads and takes turns with his or her part until we have like a play. Mm -hmm. Any other questions, Daniel? Was that, was my answer clear? Yeah, he says yes, it was clear. Okay, okay. Any other questions? Remember that once you are in the groups, Ronnie, Carlos, and myself will be visiting. So if you have any other questions while you are in the groups, don't worry, we'll be there to help you. Okay, so I guess Andre, you can send us, you can send us all to groups of four. Yes, I'm going to proceed. Okay, great. We are ready. Okay, all right, welcome back. I hope that, we hope that you had fun practicing, reading the script and that you learned new vocabulary, new words. So now, please, can somebody share the script? Because we would like one group to volunteer, to volunteer, to read the script. Who wants to read? Somebody, somebody. Yeah. That group. Act it out. No, we don't have a volunteering group. Ah, okay, Daniel wants to volunteer. Go. Belkis wants to volunteer. So, Daniel, Daniel, do you want to volunteer with your group? Mm -hmm. And Belkis also wants to volunteer. Hello, can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, sure. Yes. Do you want to volunteer with your group, Daniel? Uh, yes, I would like to, but only if she's okay with it. Aha, uh -huh. who, who was she? Who were you working with? Um, her name is Natalie, but her uh, profile name is uh, like EU. Okay, Natalie, are you there? I'm here. It's okay. For me, it's perfect. Go okay. ahead, Daniel. You can do it for both. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, wait, Daniel, you. And, and maybe Belkis volunteer, so maybe she Belkis. can join the group. Uh huh. And Belkis. Very good. Oh, we and have Wendy. Wendy too. So, we have four people. So, okay, Daniel, who do you want to be? Narrator one? Okay, yes. Okay. Belkis, do you want to be narrator too? Sure. Great. Okay, EU, do you want to be grandma? Are you asking uh, to me? Narrator two, mm -hmm. Belkis? Uh-huh, yes. and then I think you was Natalie, I think. Yes. Natalie, do you want uh, to be grandma? grandma? Yes, it's okay, I can be uh, grandma. Uh-huh. And Wendy, do you want to be Jeremy? Yes. Okay. So, uh, narrator one is Danielle. Narrator two is Belkis. 
then Jeremy is Wendy and Natalie is going to be grandma. So go ahead. Break a leg. On Monday, Jeremy made a fortress in the sand. It had three towers and a moat. It had a pointed stick and a seaweed flag. It had a dragon trying to get in and two knights trying to get out. It had a king. Jeremy stepped on the king. It made his foot hard. My foot hard. Said Jeremy to his mother when it was time to go to bed. No bath tonight. On Tuesday, Jeremy picked berries. He found 153 blueberries. He ate 97. He found 13 old raspberries. They made great ink. Squish. He wrote his name on his palm. Then he sat down on a pricker bush. It hurts there, said Jeremy to his father at bedtime. No bath tonight. On Wednesday, Jeremy played baseball and tripped over home plate and hurt his nose. My dog heart, said Jeremy to the sitter at bedtime. No bath tonight. On Thursday, Jeremy painted dinosaurs. He also painted his toes, one knee and half an, el an elbow. He was getting ready to put away the easel and it snapped shut on his finger. My hand hurts, he said to his father at that time. No, but tonight. On Friday, Jeremy helped mow the lawn. He stepped on a beam. It stung him. My bee thing hurts. No, but tonight. On Saturday, Jeremy made a sandwich with a knife. He cut his finger. My finger hurts. No, but tonight. On Sunday, Jeremy's grandmother came for a visit and they had tea. Let's look in the teacup and read the leaves. <laughs> I can read printing, but I can't read leaves. I'll teach you, but first I'll teach you how to read kid leaves. Kids don't have leaves. Come upstairs and let's make some kitty. tea. <laughs> Grandma put Jeremy in the tub. The water began to change color. Mm -hmm. I see you made a four forwards in the sand. Picked berries slid into a home plate. Mm -hmm. Painted pictures. Mm. Oh, oh yes, you killed yourself. You forgot one thing, the big thing. Mm. Oh yes, there it is under that soap bubble. He let out the water in the top and it left a ring. I also see clean clothes, a walk in the park, an ice cream soda, and a long, long history of bedtime. And, and what, Grandma? No bath tonight! <laughs> <laughs> Excellent! Great job! Congratulations! Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Excellent. Thank you. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Can, can we go back to the uh, presentation, to the Genially presentation? Guys, you did it so well. 
excellent. We don't have, unfortunately, we don't have time for another group, but I really, really want to uh, thank you all. Uh, and before we leave, how did you feel? Let's reflect on how you felt. Do we have any volunteers? How did you feel? Raise your hand. How was the experience? Belkis. Well, it was a very great experience. Most of the time I read English, um, well, different kind of uh, English readings, but I, I don't have the opportunity to talk. Then I can uh, hear me. And most of the time uh, I don't pronounce very well. So I am trying to improve my English pronunciation. And this is a very good technique. If you like to read and if you like English and if you like acting or if you like the three of them, right? Thank you, Belkis. Anybody else? Anybody else who would like to share how you felt? Ronnie. Sorry, I know this is time for students, but real quick, I want to congratulate everybody because the different groups I visited actually didn't stay only in my groups. I went, you know, and visited other groups. Everybody was doing an excellent job trying, you know, working with the intonation, with the emphasis, like with the, my nose hurts and all those effects, you know, were really, really nice. And I want to congratulate everybody because all the groups that I visited did a great, great job, but especially have to congratulate my students because they are level one, they are English one. And, you know, listening to them sharing with other people and actually reading and trying and enjoying guys i'm super proud of you this goes to everybody but especially my students because being level one and being part of this i really want to take this minute to congratulate you you know from the bottom of my heart and that was it and i yeah i give the students a chance to talk oh that was nice that was very nice mm -hmm. Okay, anybody else would like to share how you felt? Yeah, well, thank you very much. And we'll go to the last slide. Thank you very, very much for participating in this activity. We hope to be able to organize activities like this in the future. Remember that um, we also have a conversation club on Fridays. If you have any questions about the conversation club, you can email me. I'll be writing my, um, let's see my email to do, 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 here in the chat. And also we would like to thank our friends from Bienestar Estudiantil for letting us uh, share this space with you. And of course, thank you, Carlos. Thank you, Ronnie. Thank you, Carlos and Ronnie's groups for joining us. Entonces, muchísimas gracias, Ivania, y compañeros, compañeras. Muchas gracias. Muy bien, muchas gracias a Aliana, a Carlos y a Ronnie por compartirnos este espacio tan importante. Eh, muy bien, vamos a continuar con el espacio. Para ir cerrando, eh, bien, contarles que eh, en el espacio de charles estamos compartiendo una evaluación para que nos cuenten qué les pareció la actividad del día de hoy. Entonces les agradecemos. Si la pueden completar, no van a tardar más de cinco minutos. Bien, ahora queremos agradecer la participación de Ronnie, de Carlos y de Liana en este espacio a través de este certificado de agradecimiento de parte de la Universidad Castro Prazo y del proyecto Aprendizaje para la Vida, quien es quien eh, promueve estas actividades. Eh, lo otorgamos el día de hoy. Está firmado por nuestra vicerectora de Bienestar Estudiantil, Eugenia Rodríguez Ugalde, y tiene una frase de nuestro fundador, Miguel Ángel Castro 
Carazo que dice, llevemos a la par de nuestros estudios profesionales la mirada puesta en todo aquello que es noble, grande y generoso. Colmemos nuestra mente con ideas sanas y optimistas, porque la vida es bella para quienes se disponen a vivirla, portando en su corazón un espíritu de bondad y amor. Nuevamente, muchísimas gracias por su apoyo en esta actividad. Gracias, buenas noches. Con gusto. Muy bien, contarles que durante esta semana tenemos dos actividades más a las que ustedes pueden sumarse. En el chat les estamos compartiendo en enlace. Estas actividades son presenciales y eh, bueno, tenemos un taller que se llama Villar y Conectar que vamos a compartir herramientas teatrales para mejorar la expresión y les va a funcionar muchísimo para exponer, por ejemplo, delante de grupos como este en el que estamos hoy, también en sus grupos de la universidad o incluso en el trabajo. Si tienen una reunión, una, eh, tienen que hacer una exposición importante, pues aquí les vamos a dar unas herramientas para que se puedan expresar de la mejor forma y perderle un poquito el miedo a hablar en público. Entonces, totalmente invitados. Esta actividad va a ser a las 2 de la tarde y a las 10 de la mañana, el mismo día, es decir, pueden participar en las dos, vamos a tener un taller de fotografía y edición con teléfono móvil. Entonces, si gustan sumarse, nada más se tienen que inscribir al enlace y pues les estará llegando la invitación. Muy bien, comentarles que hoy queremos agradecer su participación en este espacio, por lo que queremos sortear entre todas las personas que asistieron una cena para dos personas. También puede ser un almuerzo. Entonces, ¿qué tienen que hacer para participar? Facilísimo. Ustedes nada más ingresan al enlace que les estamos compartiendo de evaluación, nos dejan sus opiniones de la actividad de hoy y nos dejan sus datos para que puedan participar en el obsequio de esta cena. Así que, pues todos y todas eh, pueden irlo llenando, no les va a tomar más de cinco minutitos hacerlo. Y bien, finalmente agradecer a todos y todas por su participación y puntualidad. Esperamos que este haya sido un espacio enriquecedor donde bueno aprendimos y mejoramos nuestro inglés a través de una actividad muy lógica. De nuestra parte, los esperamos en próximas actividades. Que tengan todos y todas una muy feliz noche.